Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about how to create countdown timer like this in Flutter. So without any delay, let's get started. So for this, first of all, you need to import this package right countdown. And uh, here, this is normal scaffold. Uh, this is a stateless, a stateless widget, first of all, scaffold app bar. These are the basic things inside uh, body. I have taken size box dot expand column. And everything is inside center and then padding this is for this text and now they here it is this is the slide countdown which is coming from the package that i have imported here so this is the duration that uh, i have taken here 2 hours 30 minutes you can add uh, days also here like days and one separated by comma so it will add days also here like this here it is days uh, let me do it too let me check this let me run this from the beginning yes here it is this is the day hour minute and second so you can customize it according to your use uh, this is the duration and this is the padding horizontal and vertical padding this is the slide direction and this is the icon uh, you can give any kind of I widget uh, here i have used here icon you can use any kind of image and also you can uh, change the color of the widget like this uh, for now I am using here uh, let's say any other color black now it is converted to black you can also change the text color with the help of this text style text style and color from here you can change color you can change font size font style everything what you want you will be able to change for this timer for now i'm not going to use it and once your timer is running you are getting the value here and you can perform any action whenever the time is changing and once the timer is done once the timer is completed you can perform action from here uh, let me print let me show you the console All right on every second it is printing because i have written here print function and pre printing the value of the duration and let me uh, convert it to zero hours and one minute zero one sorry zero zero minutes comma seconds of 10 seconds let me see what happens duration is for 10 seconds now and once 10 second is over it must print this value on done yes timer is over so you can perform action on the basis of these two particular functions there are several properties are also available you can check this out so that's it in this video hope to see you next time in our next video bye for now